Welcome to Emma's Top 10 and thanks for watching. In this video, we are taking a deep dive into the fascinating story of one of the ladies that made almost everyone in Africa want to become a blogger, Linda Ikeji. Linda Ikeji is a Nigerian blogger, writer and entrepreneur. She is the founder and CEO of Linda Ikeji's blog, one of the most visited blogs in Africa, as well as Linda Ikeji's TV, a very popular online streaming platform in Africa. Linda has worked her way to becoming one of the most successful women in Africa. She is a single mother of one and she currently lives in her banana island mansion in Lagos, Nigeria. Linda Ikeji wasn't born with a silver spoon. She had to work her way to the top and you might be asking, how did she become a billionaire in Naira at such a young age? Well, buckle up because we are about to present to you her fascinating and inspiring story. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Her humble beginnings. Linda Ifoma Ikeji was born on the 19th of September 1980 into a Catholic family in Kwere, Imo State, Nigeria. She began showing her love for the arts at the age of 10 as she was constantly writing stories and plays. After she completed her secondary education, she got admitted into the University of Lagos at the age of 18 where she studied English language. To assist her family and support herself through school, she had to do part-time jobs as a waitress, model and writer. In 2004, she graduated from the university and started struggling to get modeling contracts and at one point auditioned for Miss Nigerian Beauty Pageant. Due to her passion for writing, she wrote a book but unfortunately sold just a few copies. Linda Ikeji was constantly trying different business ventures, but all her efforts proved abortive. She organized a Miss Unilag beauty pageant for a couple of years, but failed at it because no one would agree to sponsor her event. But due to her determination and thirst for success, she didn't give up and eventually, she decided to try her hands on something that changed her life forever. Her Breakthrough after trying several business ventures and failing, she decided to try her hands on blogging and guess what? It hit. In 2005, Linda read an article about her on a very popular Nigerian blog called Bella Niger. She was fascinated by how the blog was designed and how it got people engaged, so she decided to start her own blog. In 2006, she created her blog with the domain name lindaikeji.blogspot.com. The first few years of running the blog and posting more than 5 articles per day, Linda didn't make a dime from her work. But since it was what she loved doing, she passionately continued blogging. And in 2009, everything changed when people started reaching out to her for adverts on her blog due to the high traffic and engagement on her blog. In 2010, not only was she making a lot of money from her blog post, she was also making money from the Google AdSense program. A lot of people started taking Linda very seriously as she was gradually becoming a celebrity, more than the celebrity she was talking about. In 2014, Linda was now making a ridiculous amount of money from her blog that had become her business and source of income, so she decided to get help. She employed a couple of people to do the research and writing while she managed the administrative and financial aspects of the business. In 2015, she launched another website known as Linda Ikeji Social, where she paid people to provide her with trending news from across Africa, amongst others. She later went on to launch Linda Ikeji TV, an online streaming platform for 100% entertainment. Linda Ikeji is a media mogul in Africa, and she currently works with more than 50 people whom she pays every single month. Now that Linda has worked her way to the top, you may be wondering, how does she spend her money? Well, here is how. Her baby girl lifestyle. In 2015, Linda Ikeji bought a mansion in Banana Island, estimated at 800 million naira. Note that her house is among the top 10 most expensive houses in Africa. She owns a fleet of luxury cars, ranging from Lexus Jeeps, Range Rover Sports, amongst others, estimated at more than 100 million naira. She recently bought a brand new Bentley, which is estimated to have cost more than 300,000 US dollars. 
Her closet is a fashion blogger's heaven as she owns some of the most expensive designer clothes and bags. Linda Ekeje can pretty much travel to whatever country she wants and stay at the most luxurious hotels. She is currently living the baby girl lifestyle. However, she didn't achieve all this without stepping on some few toes. Her controversies and criticism Linda Ekeji chose a very controversial niche in blogging to begin with. She is a gossip blogger and talks about Nigerian celebrities in particular and African celebrities in general. Throughout her blogging career, she has stepped on quite some few toes, including top celebrities such as Richard Murphy Damijo and Wizkid, amongst others. She has been criticized for some time posting fake news on her blog simply because she wants to attract some traffic. On several occasions, she has been summoned at the police station either for something she wrote or for something she didn't write. In 2018, when Linda announced she was pregnant, she was highly criticized due to the fact that she had always advised and encouraged young girls on the importance of celibacy through her numerous self-made conferences and workshops. A lot of people, especially young girls, accused her of not practicing what she preaches. However, she later on apologized and explained everything on her blog. Linda Ikeji's success as a blogger and entrepreneur has motivated a lot of people both within and outside of the African continent to believe in the power of hard work, consistency and faith in God. She is one lady that will always be mentioned each time there is a conversation about blogging in Africa. Thanks so much for watching this video. We hope you were inspired by Linda Ikeji's story. And yes, you too can do it if you decide to focus, work hard and be consistent. Nobody tried to help. But you see, no matter how bad it got, no matter how many doors were slammed in my face, no matter how many times I fell, I never stayed down. I never gave up. I never stopped working. I never stopped praying. I never stopped believing in myself. In fact, giving up was never an option for me. I was going to continue to walk until I got my breakthrough. If I had given up, I wouldn't be standing here right now talking to you, would I? What I didn't realize when I was crying my eyes, my eyes out and calling myself a failure was that God had put something in my life already a few years back that would change everything. As you all know, I'm a blogger. And before I had my breakthrough in blogging, I blogged for four years, passionately, without making any money. Those days, I would beg for 100 naira to pay for browsing time at the cyber cafe. But then, in 2011, everything changed. Companies started to pay me for something I had nurtured with love. And just six years later, ha! Huh? You may not fail as many times as I did, or maybe you fail more times than I did, but you have to remember that failure is part of success. If you never fail, how are you ever going to learn? The only true failure in life is when you stop trying, when you give up. No matter how many times you fall, you have to get up and you have to keep going. There's something amazing waiting for you at the finish line. Listen to me and listen very carefully. You have a purpose in this life. You were created by God for a reason. Find your purpose. Believe in your purpose. Live your purpose. Dear woman, you can give yourself the life of your dreams. You can achieve success beyond your wildest imagination. It's up to you. In this journey of life, you are the master of your fate, the captain of your soul. You are responsible for the choices you make in your life. So make the right ones. Please, I beg you, believe in yourself. Believe in your dreams. Surround yourself with people who share the same vision with you. People who support you. Never, ever let anyone tell you you cannot do anything. Work hard. Work smart. And remember, there's no testimony without struggle. I wish you all the very best.
if you did enjoy this video do well to leave it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to our channel